Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at how to customize Squarespace templates. Now, there could be times when you would like to have a greater control over the templates that uh, Squarespace is providing. And it's great to know that there is indeed a way where you can customize your templates by using code. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to code HTML or CSS or JavaScript because those are the three primary ways on how to modify and customize your templates. Uh, when you do a little bit of googling around you will find plenty of great tutorials related to those three technologies so I hope that uh, you uh, take a look at those tutorials first if you're not familiar with these uh, concepts and languages before uh, <clears throat> and get familiar with those because uh, whenever you start making any code related tweaks to your templates it's advisable that you know what you are doing and you, so that you are not uh, messing up your site it's very very simple and easy easy to do so this is not a coding tutorial but rather I'm just giving you different ways on how to customize your templates with code and then I'm also going to show you how to access the, those different customizing features on Squarespace platform. So there are basically five ways to customize your templates with code um, and as you can see that these five ways are divided into two different categories. First of all there are those uh, ways which can be used by everyone regardless of what their uh, plan is. But then certain uh, customizing features are only uh, available for those who have a business plan or plan above that. So only for certain premium level users some customizing options are available. Uh, in this demo I'm, I'm using a business plan so I'm able to show you all these different customizing features and ways to do it and what you have have seen already on this uh, slide is that there are five different ways uh, you can use custom CSS editor for entering custom CSS code. Uh, you can use embed blocks for adding external content to your site. Uh, then you can use a code block uh, to add custom code to a page or a blog post, sidebar or footer. And then you have this code injection related customizing features where, where you can either, and if you are using a site-wide code injection, you can basically affect a whole bunch of uh, pages at once with the code that you have uh, embedded to a page, for instance to a page footer. But also you can only change a certain page if you want to with this very same technique. So you can use code injection and only make it available, only make this tweak or change available on a certain page. Okay, so these are the five ways and next what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna give you a demonstration on how to actually access these different features. Uh, so let me just hop over to my browser and let me just go to my site it's it's perhaps easiest to get started like this so let me go to my admin panel and click sites where I can access all these different sites that I have most of them are just for the demonstration purposes but let me just pick one site for editing um, and here it is. Uh, by the way, before I get started with the demonstration, there is uh, a great uh, article related to this topic, topic provided by Squarespace called Adding Custom HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So you should definitely take a look at it because it gives you all these different features on how to modify and how to access these different customizing options so it's a great read so definitely check it out 
but anyway let's get started with the demonstration so first of all what I'm going to show you is how to access access the custom CSS uh, editor uh, so once you are inside your site uh, click on the design link here on the left and then click custom CSS on the left and <clears throat> this is the area where you can enter all your custom CSS now this editor window is is very small so what you can do is that you can actually click open in window button here on the left and it basically opens this editor uh, to fill your whole screen so it's much easier to you know start editing custom CSS here and you can then of course do whatever you want to do with with your uh, code so that's basically how to that's basically how to uh, access the custom CSS editor uh, and then you can also manage custom files button or click the manage custom files button on the at the bottom and then you can add images or fonts uh, that you want to use with your site and especially when you're customizing your site with CSS okay so th that's basically how the custom CSS editor works um, let me just click cancel and go back to, to, to the design option and let me just uh, click home okay so what's next so next way that I'm going to show you is how to access the embed block uh, feature and this is also very very simple uh, simple to access uh, as a side note uh, it might take a little while until you get familiar with all these different routes how to access certain particular feature it takes a little bit practice but once you have done it uh, a couple of times it, it becomes very easy easy to find all these customizing features through Squarespace interface so you'll, you'll just have to repeat yourself a couple of times and then those things become much more familiar to you but anyway when we are talking about embed block uh, that's basically th uh, the way you basically access this particular feature is by uh, once again logging into your site and then clicking the pages link here on the left and uh, then what you will do is that you choose a page for editing and I have a test page over here and let me just scroll down a little bit so once I click the edit uh, on the page content uh, menu that pops up when you hover your mouse over the over the content area on your site or on your page and then click edit and next what you will do is that you will see that there is this uh, editing page content area which which pops up so then you click the plus sign here at the top right and it says add block but anyway just you know click this plus sign and then under the basic section on this menu you will see embed and you know just click the embed uh, icon and here you can paste the URL or you can even add some code uh, if you want to so that's basically how you uh, access the embed uh, block uh, functionality when customizing your code okay so let me just click cancel and cancel and do you want to cancel yes I want to cancel okay great uh, the next customizing feature is code block now if you remember the code block what it is it's basically using to add custom code to a page or to a blog post to a sidebar or to a footer and way to a way to access this feature is is almost like in in the previous section where 
uh, you pick a page for editing and then by okay so let me just go back so you click pages and then you pick for then you then you pick a page for editing like in this case I, I have a I have a page called test page and let me just scroll down a little bit to access this uh, content editing section and click edit on the page content and once again I'm using the plus sign here at the top right and clicking it and then <clears throat> what you will see next is that when you hold on yeah under the more section on this uh, menu or window which pops up pops up uh, you can click the code icon and here you can you know then access this this customizing feature uh, it's also worth understanding that there is I guess you could say in a way it's it's a little it's more or less confusing at first how to use this feature um, because what you will see here is a display source link or a display source selection and you can click this checkbox on and off so what it means is that if you have uh, let's say that you have written a piece of code and then you do not have this display source checkbox uh, uh, checked so it will you know display the code the way that it should be shown to the, to the end user so that's basically how it works but if you click the display source option or check this box here so you will see raw code being displayed on your site now there could be times when you would like to do this uh, but what's maybe a little bit confusing is that if you decide to actually enter some JavaScript, then things, I, I think that they become a little bit confusing. Uh, here, the display source is being checked on by default and you can't uncheck it, which means that every time you are writing something, it's being displayed as code. So if you want to uh, write piece of JavaScript and you want to just you do not want to display the code but rather you want to s you, your visitors to see the generated output of that code so instead of choosing JavaScript and that's this was basically my assumption first that you know when I started you know studying this this customizing feature a little bit I thought that I should be using JavaScript or JavaScript should be chosen on this particular menu but I was a little bit confused because the display source was already already checked on and you you weren't able to uncheck it so you will have to choose the HTML or if I remember correctly markdown was the another option that you could use here but anyways you should uh, choose the HTML option here and then start writing your code whatever it is and there are actually a couple of ways to well certain ways to how to start writing your code like with with CSS you could be using style tags uh, and if you are using JavaScript so you should basically include your code inside the script talks tags and then you could of course you know uncheck this box if you do not want to display your source code <laughs> on, on the web page but it's a little bit confusing but once you understand this this logic how this uh, code blocks work it's it becomes very simple but just wanted to let you know that this is the case how this works okay let me just click cancel over here I'm not going to write any piece of code here and let me just click cancel and yes I do want to cancel uh, next we have two options related to uh, code injection now there are basically two ways to add code injection and there are two code injection types like the first one is 
the perpetrates code injection where uh, a piece of code is being affected on a whole bunch of different pages like on like for instance it could be applied to every page on your site or then you could be using code injection to just change a certain page on your site okay so how to access the per page code injection uh, feature it's very simple once again you have your page opened or your site opened for editing uh, so what will happen is that you will click the settings link here on the left and then you go to the advanced uh, menu you click it here on the left and here you can find the code injection link and just click it and then you can find all these different places where you can inject a piece of code like for instance if you enter anything here uh, uh, in the header section of your pages so so as it says here that enter code that will be injected into the head talk on every page on your site so there's there is a reason why this is called site-wide uh, code injection and then you can find these different ways where to inject your code whether if it's footer or a log page or order confirmation page but what if you just want to uh, inject code to a certain page on your site well, there is a way to do it as well. Uh, let me just uh, go back and we are here at, 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 the, at the regular menu that, that comes up when you start editing your site. So let me just click pages and let me just scroll down maybe a little bit to see this so once you are over the page content like hovering your mouse pointer over a certain piece of content once the page content uh, menu pops up or the window however you want to put it click the settings link here at the top right and here you can find under the advanced uh, tab you can find page header code injection enter the code that will be injected onto the header for this page so that's basically how you access this feature okay so let me just click cancel and let me go back to the beginning and yes i think you know that's pretty much it so i have covered all these different uh all these different ways to uh customize your code and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will get back to you soon. Bye bye.